Hey, what's up, guys? So, uh, I'm coming to you from the truck for once. Uh, I'll shoot in my office. Um, but I never talk about it, talk at my day job. So, we'll talk at the day job today. So, we're on the second day of actually starting to get back to like a bit of normalcy after a you know, hurricane. And I want to talk to you guys real fast about you know, getting back to work after things kind of get thrown out of whack. So, this all sparked because, you know, Friday night. From Friday night, Friday morning, I was laying in bed at 3 a.m. and I was thinking about how I just hadn't been back to the gym, like at that that normal period, and my body was starting to crave it. Was just automatically waking up that early, and you know, the the weekend came, it went, and then Sunday night, my wife, uh, she was like, you know, I need to get up and go to the gym tomorrow, and I was like, all right, well, cool, I'm like, but are you going to get up? And she looked me in the eye and she was like, you know, are you? I was like, Jack. Yeah, guaranteed. Um, I'll make sure I get up so you can't uh, use me as an excuse on why you didn't get up. Because, you know, if, if you call somebody out on something and then they have the ability to be like, well, you didn't do it. I was like, so I made sure I did it. Um, guaranteed. And so we're on day two of that now. And, you know, as I start to think about that a little more. Uh, you know how long or how often do we get knocked off you know, our habits and then we decide to just stay there for a little while and we start to get comfortable we start to relax start to to take our eye off the ball and you know i had talked about it literally that friday morning and then it's coming up on sunday so it's probably pretty important that we get back to it now you can do that by a few things um when we're looking at the need to get up earlier well it's real easy to stay in bed if you can just simply hit snooze so take your alarm out of your room that's probably the easiest way for you to actually do what needs to be done and so i took my phone out of the room and put it back in the office where it belongs and now i have to walk across the house open the doors turn on the lights to be able to turn off the alarm and by then you're already awake and so she did the same thing. Obviously, she got up and she did her thing as well. And so that's a really simple step to be able to uh, kind of hack your morning to make sure that you're not giving yourself the, the easy advantage, I guess the the easy way out of hitting snooze because you're still warm in your bed and you haven't started moving. So immediately go brush your teeth, you drink some water, and then hit the door. So let your clothes out. You know, make things very, very simple for you to have simple repeatable steps that are habits that you can implement to make sure you stay back on the habits because now with more energy um of course I, I already feel better and look better um in my mind at least you know changes that happen overnight but you can actually activate that muscle memory pretty quickly so i hope that helps somebody and i hope it helps you take that extra step to to get back to it because remember we all fall off just, just have to decide how long we're going to stay there. Uh, so if you fall off for a day, make sure you don't let that extend to a month or a year. You know, we had multiple hurricanes back to back. Um, excessive workload. Um, trying to get the house back together after the insurance denial. And you know we put up drywall this weekend. So all these different things that are going to like kind of interrupt your normal tasks. You have to make sure that you just give yourself the opportunity to get back to it. And stop making excuses. So, you know you got to fit it in. And if that means you have to get up a little earlier to make it happen, then get up early to make it happen. If you don't do it in the morning, uh, just make sure you do it in the morning. Because if you don't, the day will be taken away from you. And then you'll have even more of excuses. And then you'll have the self-loathing that goes with the aspect of not doing what you said. Because it always sits in the back of your mind. Hope that helps somebody. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Get after it.